So I want to make an airlines that flies to only the tiniest countries on earth. Now I realize this is going to be a pretty useless airlines, but then again, when has my airlines ever not been useless? Now to start the game, there's actually a dozen or two countries where they literally will not let us start in, like Luxembourg for instance, that's the one I wanted to choose. This country is too small, unlock another country first. They won't let me go to Kuwait, they won't let me go to Qatar, no Bhutan, no Brunei, it's just no no. I mean I don't really blame them for not letting us start off in these really tiny islands. I mean, what else did I expect? And I was thinking we might actually be able to find something in Africa. First, I checked the Gambia, which is like the river nation. And I tried Lesotho or Eswatini. None of those either. No to Djibouti by Ethiopia. So it's like, come on. But I feel like they might have missed one nation. And that nation happens to be the greatest of them all, Equatorial Guinea. I know everyone lies awake at night thinking about what it would be like to visit Equatorial Guinea. And we're going to make those dreams a reality. First of all, one of our airports is literally in the ocean. So this is definitely going to be a nice tourist place to visit. All right, we are rocking and rolling right here with our three airports. I honestly don't even know if they're going to give me another airport. This might be the only three. So wait a second, if we have three in Equatorial Guinea, in some of the nations that they didn't let us start off in, did, they must only have two. I think the US has like at least a hundred just for reference. I literally have things on fast forward and yet uh, nothing is happening. Is it even worth upgrading this airport? Maybe. I feel like I'm going to break the game or something. Why is unlocking Rwanda so much? $800? I know they only got like two airports in here. So one of the problems with only having three airports is that we can't really make any money. You kind of need, you know, passengers to make money and these passengers really aren't doing anything crazy. I'm actually afraid to do this. I guess it's only a hundred bucks, but I'm going to go ahead and just connect and we only have three airports. Why not just take a direct flight to the only other spot you can really go? I like how when you zoom out on the map, you really wouldn't even be able to find my airline so far, even though the entire country is highlighted in white. The problem is whatever country I unlock next, it's going to cost 800 bucks. And depending on how far that country is, which it probably will have to be far because the, you know, tiny nations, it's a tiny nation airline, it's going to be expensive. So, and I can't really make any money. So there's a lot of issues we're facing here. I mean, we have like three people a week come through my airports and that's about it. So we're making like 20 bucks a month max. I really think we've managed to min max this game. Like they, they cannot give me any more airports. They're, they physically have run out. I'm going to go ahead and introduce a little bit of chaos and unlock the Gambia River Nation. So I'm going to have to send this to, uh, I think here. Okay. That is a really, that is a lot of money. I would not have done this if I knew it was going to be that much money. And I have 300. I am literally about to lose already. Probably a bad idea to unlock this nation when uh, the expensive routes thing just opened up. Our best bet is to hope no one really joined. I mean, what is, why are you trying to leave? the great nation of Gambia anyways. That's your first problem. Wait, hey, hey, what's going on? Why are these looking like they're going to explode? How am I about to lose this? There is 18 people here and it's going to cost 100 to upgrade these airports. I'm just going to wait until this expensive routes penalty goes away. Wait, am I going to have to upgrade this? This is depressing. How am I losing? Yeah, I have to upgrade this because uh, one of my airports is full. I probably have to upgrade this one too. Oh man, I'm gonna have to upgrade this as well. Yeah, because there's 25 people. Why are you leaving? Okay, now that there's no longer a uh, problem here, it's only $1,000. Okay, good. And also one of the airports closed down because of like migration flock of birds. I don't know. So the only problem with this is we're making less money. Oh, everyone's trying to go to, oh, that's why you're blowing up because everyone's trying to go here. Can I get a loan? How am I supposed to get $1,000 when, oh no. I think I've made a grave mistake. So these airports are just gonna keep on filling up because people want to go to the Gambia. There's 62 people waiting to go to the Gambia. And now I'm getting penalties because this, it, what, what have I done? I think I just turned this game into like Dark Souls difficulty. Okay, let's try that again and wait for me to get a little bit more money before I unlock a nation. There's a contest for the best airline with a huge prize. Uh, wait, this is going to cost me money. I'm going to go ahead and try. That'd be hilarious. Equatorial Guinea, best airline in the world. Wow. And we won. I usually never win these competitions. All right. So we really roll in that dough now. I am realizing that this is actually an impossible challenge challenge in a way because if I'm only going to countries with like two airports I'm not going to be able to get enough money especially because all the random countries I want to go to are like all around the world there's not like micro nations really next to each other on the map actually Burundi and Rwanda might be a good place I think that would be a cheaper place to go to first is that closer than the Gambia yeah it looks like it's a little bit closer I literally have to just sit here and wait until we have like two thousand dollars or something oh wait what the, wait whoa 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 the charity campaign succeeded I just randomly got a thousand dollars now like the game is literally 
literally trying to give me money because they know, oh man, this guy is going to be sitting here for like three hours. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and try to unlock Rwanda first. Now, I still have a thousand, so I should be able to connect that. Yeah, I can connect that. I'm guessing this center city is like my hub. I don't really know. What is the capital of Equatorial Guinea? Oh, wow. How did I not know that? Wait, so our capital is actually the one that's sitting in the middle of the ocean? Probably shouldn't have had this line go there then. Oh, that's right. I'm making all these jokes like it was a glitch in the game. I forgot that it is actually an island that Equatorial Guinea controls. It is out here randomly off the coast and off of continental Africa. I was all like, oh man, look, we have this random floating airport. Ha ha. Turns out I was trolling myself the whole time. All right, I'm probably gonna have to upgrade this guy because there's gonna be a lot of people sitting there. You know, I'd rather upgrade the plane to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Does it fly a little bit faster now? Not really, but it can fit more people. I see that in Rwanda, we now have an airport that isn't actually in Rwandan territory, or is this another one of those mistakes? They actually have this random land they control in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Now, the reason I did this is mostly so I can unlock Burundi next, although I'm probably going to have to upgrade this airport. So again, I'm trying to get enough money with only five airports to unlock another country, which it's going to be tough because every other country is going to cost more money. I don't think I would have made this video if I knew how hard it was going to be. <laughs> the employees of the aircraft manufacturer went on strike. Okay, so we're not going to cut. We shouldn't be doing any new planes. That was scary for a second there. Wait, I didn't upgrade this airport yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We actually have over a thousand dollars now. Uh, and actually we can easily unlock this and still connect it to the rest. So I'm just going to do this. That's literally a $55 route. Cool. We now have three countries and access to six airports. I believe at most Burundi has one more and then that's it. That's all the game's gonna give me. The countries they wouldn't let me unlock in the first place only had two airports. That's why I needed to go for more. Some of them might only have one to be honest. Can I upgrade this? Ooh, that seems expensive. I don't know if I want to do that. You also need to be upgraded this air, but I don't have the money. I'm getting penalties because it's, it's bad things. Okay, one is expensive planes. Okay, once this goes up, I'm gonna buy a second plane for this route. You know what? You're getting, uh, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade that airport. Whole world is celebrating New Year's. Number of passengers increases by 20%. Good. I need the extra money. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and upgrade. I have two planes going back and forth because this is causing all sorts of bad things. Wow, I think Burundi literally only had one airport. I don't think it's gonna give me a second one. So that does mean that I'm opening up different places that are only going to give me one airport. Maybe the Gambia is one. Right, I need you to stop exploding, please. I'm going to upgrade you one more time. And we know this line is going to cost $1,000 when I unlock Gambia. Or I could unlock Djibouti and then just go here. Would that be cheaper, possibly? I don't know. I'm trying to only go to the countries where, like, the game physically didn't let me start off. Like, that would be fun. Actually, no, that sounds torturous. But that is what I'm trying to do. I don't want to have to upgrade you again, man. I'm already, like, poor. I'm going to go ahead and return to the Gambia. It was 881 dollars and this is going to be our international airport do i just give him a level three plane you know what go ahead and take it it's just going to be too messy if it's not a level three plane to start off yeah i'm gonna have to upgrade this too four hundred dollars oh, wait instead of doing that maybe i should just upgrade this is a level three. Oh, upgrade to a level three i'm gonna go ahead and do that it's cheaper 200 the rwanda government gave me a grant okay, okay so that's a big old plane moving in there i'll go ahead and upgrade you too maybe I'll, maybe I'll give you two level three planes okay now we should be good that should be good there's a level three plane here there's a level three plane here we still have a thousand bucks to spare i need two thousand before i unlock any other country though. So where do you want to go to next? Qatar. Also, all of this region wouldn't let me, they wouldn't let me start here. Israel, Palestine, and Lebanon. They're also too small. Same with Cyprus. Probably just gonna have to upgrade this automatically. We're actually making okay money, surprisingly. I do have this game on fast forward though. I kind of want to get off the continent of Africa as soon as possible. I don't want to make just an only micro nations in Africa. Let's go to South America with Trinidad and Tobago. So Port of Spain, and from here all we have to do is go to Gambia, which that is a very expensive route. I don't think I would have done this if I knew that. It did didn't look like it'd be that far, to be quite honest. All right, so we're already in internet. Wait, it's recommended to cancel all flights to... Okay, that is a bad thing. That is a very bad thing. That is the connecting airport to everything, the hub here. Why don't you just fly over like a couple miles? Why can't I just adjust to that? Wait, how long is this going to last? For five minutes? Oh, we're going to die. I have to upgrade this now. I have to upgrade this. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe this is the time to cancel this. Upgrade all planes. I'm going to sell the route, get some money back. I'm, I'm going to the capital. It, I should be going to the capital anyways. Okay, these these guys are starting to have some problems. I, I don't know if I want to throw money at this. Okay, I'm going to at least upgrade some of the airports to get them off level one. Uh, I probably have to upgrade that now. Do we change this route too? Man, I'm wasting so much money by doing this, but we're going to die. Do I upgrade this guy? That guy's probably going to need to be upgraded because, yeah, now Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, that needs to be upgraded. Okay, yeah, before that lands, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. I'm going to sell that route and then 
uh, send them to the capital. Yeah, I'm literally losing like $300 by doing that. Popular urban blogger posted a video review of the Bata airport. He really liked it. Yeah, that's because nobody was in there because they literally shut it down. Oh, and now it's getting, okay, whatever. I'll take what I can get. How's this route doing? Port of Spain is actually okay. I did upgrade it. We're making a little bit more money. Again, there are no other airport. The game usually gives you plenty of other airports every country like you unlock, but there's nothing listed. Like it's not even in the game. Do I upgrade this? They they did have two routes here before. Wait, what about this? Eight, there's no way. That's too much money. I can give you a level three plane. Yeah, I guess I got the money for that. I should probably upgrade this guy too. Ooh, that's getting expensive. I'm going to upgrade it. Does this route need another level three plane? Does this guy need? Uh, no, I don't think that needs to be upgraded. We literally cannot afford much here with this airlines. Who would have thought flying to only micro nations would be a horrible idea? Let's go ahead and connect to North America. Technically, I think Jamaica is technically a part of North America. I don't know. Continents have weird defining terms. So I can do that pretty easily. I'm going to upgrade this. So we have to literally island hop from Kingston to Port of Spain to the Gambia to uh, <laughs> to Equatorial Guinea. If you're just trying to go to Burundi, I don't even know why you'd be trying to go to Burundi. I'm not going to worry about that, though. Won't be asking any questions. The Olympics are being held in Rwanda. What a great place to hold the Olympics, which I have heard Rwanda is becoming the Singapore of Africa. So maybe this is a possible future we have. This does seem that's a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know if I want to upgrade that. Oh, we actually have a second. Oh, let's go. Okay, one good thing, though, is that these airports are really close by with what I'm doing. So it does cost like 50 bucks. This probably needs to be upgraded. I need to look for like red planes. I think I have enough money to like upgrade. Okay, I guess I have to upgrade this. I have to upgrade some of these red planes. It's not a red plane, but I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade it anyways. For the fun, we have to unlock the fictional nation of Lesotho. At least I'm pretty sure it's not real. I've never seen South Africa back up the data for that. Wait, what? Why didn't it turn white? Is there a glitch? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't think the game thinks anyone is supposed to unlock Lesotho. Employees of the aircraft manufacturer went on strike. That is great. I'm having a lot of problems. Okay, this is going to cost a good amount of money. Why were you about to explode? I thought I already... Okay, I'm going to have to throw more money at that. Uh, you know, you're going to get a second level three plane. Yeah, I really don't think anyone has ever unlocked Lesotho before. <laughs> it was supposed to have white borders. Do I upgrade this? I've got $5,000. We're, we're doing better money-wise. You probably need to be upgraded too. Okay, level three planes are not super costly. I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, oh boy. Chill, chill, chill. We have to go to Asia now. We're going through Qatar to get to Asia. So Doha is now ours. We're going to make a little trifecta. You are definitely going to need a second plane, maybe even three planes. I'm going to go ahead and, you know what? It's not that expensive. I'm going to go ahead and give you three level three planes. That's a long route. That's the longest route I think we have so far. Some of these poor people have to like really, um, like hop their airport. Well, like, let's say you're from Doha. You're just trying to, you're just trying to go to Kingston, uh, Jamaica. Well, that's a one, one, two, three, four, five stop trip. I mean, it is halfway across the world though. So what do you expect? This airport will probably need to be upgraded. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade it now. Oh, Doha is actually having some issues. I'll upgrade that two times. And you know what? You're literally right next to Kuwait. I'm going to go ahead and give you Kuwait too. Wait, what's wrong with you? Oh, is this? Oh yeah, this probably, this is a long route. It's going to need like two, three planes as well. Again, you're a tiny nation. I'm just going to go ahead and give you that. You guys will have to go there first. So we actually have a lot of countries that we're now beginning to unlock. I even unlocked Kuwait. I cannot, I don't really want to afford to, this is a big upgrade. I'm not doing that. Uh, maybe this can be upgraded once. How about the Great Islands of the Falklands? Now from here, we could start doing some more interesting things. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and try another like charity competition. From here, I can maybe go, wait, oh, there was actually a second, wow, I'm surprised about that. And we won somehow. Man, this is the greatest airline I've ever, I've never won, I don't think one, but let alone twice in a row. Uh, okay. Again, this is not in our country's territory, but we're not going to worry about the international war crimes that we might be committing or not. Uh, so from here, wow, that is a $3,000 line. Uh, I was going to start doing something interesting and have the Falklands fly directly here. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, I am now broke like a joke. All for the Port of Stanley, the Great Port of Stanley. Now I have to upgrade this. So now you have a little bit more options, I guess. There's always the route that like, well, like where is everyone trying to go from Equatorial Guinea? You're trying to go down there. Some of these level one planes need to be upgraded. Like, I wonder if that would help. It's all green right here, so maybe not. Do we give you another plane for these really long routes? Well, first of all, I think the airport in the Falklands needs to be upgraded twice. Maybe I will just go ahead. It's cheap two level three planes at least. I have to open up for some European expansion into the greatest micronation of them all. As soon as I do that, a airport explodes. An aircraft manufacturer successfully tested a new supersonic passenger jet. Okay, so I got one of those. Uh, okay, where are we going to send Luxembourg to? Luxembourg can go to Doha. 
Maybe it's one of those things where I also fly to Kingston. Maybe we go there. Man, that is... Oh, I don't even have the money for that. Oh, I do now, actually. Okay, level three. Level three. The most inefficient airlines. I've look, if you zoom out, it doesn't even look like I've unlocked any countries. Still, I would like to add that I am an airline that flies to technically 11 nations. 11 nations. I know it doesn't look like it, but we fly to 11 nations. Oh, man, I should have unlocked Cyprus first. This is expensive. And then I'm just going to go there. Oh, Luxembourg is not having a good time. Sri Lanka was another country that I was not able to unlock at the beginning of the game, but we actually might be able to fit at least another yep two i was gonna say at least two right there now from sri lanka where do we go i'm guessing we just gotta go to qatar and i'll give you two as well Ooh, you're scaring me a bit okay luxembourg also scaring me they are at a pretty high point i don't think there's any other i believe i was able to unlock slovenia i think there's three airports in slovenia i was not able to unlock north macedonia kosovo or montenegro that might be a pretty nice trifecta now that i think about it kosovo just all three of these wow i did that all at the same time and now i have no money uh oh there's three here we go wait are we flying to Colombo, where are we flying to again? Did I make the international flight to not Colombo? I don't know why I did that. Okay, we'll just do a little uh, triangle there. There's a little triangle here too. Uh, from here, I don't really know. You, maybe you go there and then you go here to Luxembourg. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, all these are gonna need to be upgraded a little bit. What is exploding? Oh yeah, I should have known that. Oh, four! And, and wow, we're getting lucky with Sri Lanka. I think we were gonna have four airports in any of these. Okay, I actually cannot keep up with this. We're like two worldwide and then the airports are too tiny for me to really see what's going on okay luxembourg is still struggling those are two big old air do you need a sec yeah maybe you need a third level three airplane maybe i should start upgrading these to level five uh this airport is struggling a little bit Wait, where's this other oh man wow they're actually squeezing so much in sri lanka i'm actually really surprised about this uh i'm just gonna connect very small lines here sri lanka is the hub of this great airline uh now time to go to the uh french sandwich islands wait that's not the sandwich islands okay from there you go there that's the obvious choice i think puerto rico is also pretty tiny i can probably do something Something really small here. Some red planes trying to get from South Africa to uh, Rwanda. That was a nice jet going in between these two. Chill, Doha. Chill. I guess I'll upgrade you. We do need to probably upgrade this plane as well. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, wait, what? Uh, even though there's a lot of like really tiny plane, this is the craziest part of the map. Oh, those aren't connected. How are you fitting these all in Sri Lanka? This is crazy. I don't even know where these guys are flying to. I'm just giving them level one airplanes everywhere. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just checking for the connections to thank us for connecting Doha to our transportation network. They gave us 500 bucks. Thank you. Oh, 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 you're, you're, okay. The game is finding ways to squeeze in more airports. It's nice because I can make more money. Luxembourg might be struggling a little bit. I'll upgrade that. I mean, it is the, wow, there's so many red planes coming in. Port of Spain might be kind of facing a lot because it's a pretty big point in the Americas to get back and forth. You squeeze another one in Cyprus. I don't really know what's happening here. As long as all these places are connected to the international spot, which I, again, I messed up. I don't know why I chose a city. Uh, Burun, Burunai, Burunai. Why can't I say that? Brunei. I think I'm getting confused because I just unlocked uh, Burundi. I never realized how similar those two countries are. North Macedonia is quarantined due to a virus. All right. I don't really care. Bhutan time. Okay, Bhutan, you're going to get that. Maybe I'll do a little, oh, I, I don't have the money for that. Okay, unlocking maybe too many countries too fast. I don't think Armenia was, I don't think I was able to unlock Armenia in the very beginning of the game. A lot of these islands in the Mediterranean are actually controlled by a bigger power, big, bigger regional power. Yeah, all these are X'd out because the virus. I mean, you're right next to me. I might as well do a quick route there. Oh yeah, the Bahamas too. That's right. The Bahamas, you can you can choose some things. I'll give you options. Oh, that's right. It's all these three. The authorities in Rwanda report Ebola now. Hey, what is going on with these outbreaks? I just need to unlock one more country. The problem is unlocking these countries is getting more and more expensive and they're not a good investment on return because I'm not making that much money from any of them. Which one's about to explode? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's right. Oh, you guys are just gonna have to sit here. I think how long is this for three minutes? Oh man, I don't want to waste the money to start a new line. Oh, wait a second. This is gonna be really bad. Passengers are gonna have to take some crazy routes. Uh Oh, everything's about to explode, isn't it? Some of these passengers are gonna have to take insane routes because this is a pretty important chain in my command. Unless I, I can make another one. I can fly you to uh, Equatorial Guinea's capital. I guess I'll do that. I don't really like to do that, but I'm having like a lot of airports have issues. Kuwait is now about to explode. Okay, everything's falling apart. Hold it together. Hold it together. Wait, when did you pop up? I do not remember that. All right, just just, just take it. Okay, these countries are good again. That was really bad. I kind of made this line for no reason, but whatever. This line from Lesotho straight to Equatorial Guinea. I guess it's not a bad idea to give people options. Does it only have one plane? Okay, I was going to say. Maybe you can take another one, I guess. Okay, now I can probably unlock Palestine. Or maybe I can't. Okay, there we go. That is a cheap route. Okay, there you go. I mean, these are so cheap, I'm just going to give it to you all. Great nation of Moldova. You guys can take that. $700 from the Baham, uh, the Bhutan government for 
no reason. I guess flying to these small countries sometimes does have its benefits because the governments are usually very happy. They will give you free money. I've been noticing that a lot. We've also been winning a lot of uh, awards, maybe because our airlines is like tiny but underrated. Like, do you ever want to go to the Gambia? Are any of these bigger airlines going to the Gambia? I don't think so. You got to fly our rarely flown airlines to get to some of these more micro spots. We could be like a popular uh, like blogging airlines for those tourism people that want to be off the beaten path. There you go. Maybe that's why we're popular. I guess we can go to Armenia. Armenia is probably the biggest country that we've unlocked so far. I'll give Armenia some options too. What's like the craziest route I can go? From the Bahamas all the way to Burundi. That's an $11,000 route. But if somebody does want to make that journey, it would help a lot. I'm going to go bankrupt, but I'm just going to give it one level five plane. So it's real nice and fast. So yeah, I don't know why you would do that, but let's just say someone did. There are Possibly some people that are trying to do something crazy like that. This route across the world is crazy. Yeah, I mean, technically speaking, that was a good idea. Look, there is someone from, uh, I'm always forgetting the name, Brunei, that's trying to go to San Juan. Oh, they just got taken out. Well, this guy's trying to go to Port of Spain, so it was a good idea to fly directly to the Caribbean. Now, that person might not have started in Burundi. They could have started from Sri Lanka, then they flew to Burundi, but either way, I think it was a good, good idea. It also, it, like, lessens the impact of all these stops that they're gonna have to make. I keep having to upgrade airports. Oh, that's right. I forgot all these random places in the Pacific. We unlocked the Solomon. Man, this is getting so expensive. We are not going to be able to connect these guys to the grid. Hopefully they just want to fly to each other for now. I have to go to Burundi somehow. That's going to be a pretty expensive route. Luckily, we're making money really fast. Okay, one level three plane. I know I'm going to have to upgrade all these. And then again, we can do the whole like route to the Caribbean. Oh, you squeeze another airport there. Nice. Might as well just connect the other islands over here. The fourth ones, the Solomon Islands. Oh yeah, everyone's going to be flying there. Let me just upgrade that. Believe it or not, our airlines, which you can't even really see when you zoom out all the way is flying to 31 different nations. You can kind of make out some of them, but I don't think all of them. Somehow we have squeezed out 31 countries to this airlines, and yet you would have no idea. And big thank you to my patrons. Drew's Goth Girlfriend. Triv44, aka Drew, come to crack out Poland next vacation. Thwicken, hamster. Drew's Argentinian uh, Grand Norwal. $20 is a lot, Drew. Baseline. B. Wild Brighton thing. is Carmel the best. Carmel Saida. DJ Skillet, Orton, Five, Patrick, Six, Robert, E. Rye, the, the Polish, Lithuanian, The Mexican. 760 Biotic. and Zany Boy 